Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1911. And if you create reports, you got to check out this video. In this video, we're going to see an amazing technique using Viro and the Eta Lambda and inside the Group by Filter to accomplish the eternal all criteria dilemma. And that just means here's our product report. We're looking at all the products, Midwest and the sales rep, Timmy. But if I change this to all, now the report is just for Timmy with all products in all regions. Now, this dilemma has been around for decades. How do we create a formula that incorporates either all or something from the drop down? So this video will do it, but of course it's a trifecta. All the way back in 1909, we saw how to create a unique list with all at the top. 1910, we saw the amazing dynamic range reference operator and the spilled range operator. And we're going to use the results from those two videos in 1911. Now, thanks to our pal Excel Lambda for the tricks in this video. Now, before we look at connecting the conditions and criteria to our report, let's just see how the group by function works. Equals group by. This is a function like pivot by that can create pivot like reports. That means it'll create a unique list with some aggregate summary calculation. And the goal is to simply get a unique list of products and add sales. So in row fields, and I'm going to select product, that's the field name, control shift down arrow, those are all the records in our data set, control backspace to jump back to the active cell, comma, values. There's the field name, control shift down arrow, control backspace, comma, the function we want is sum. We definitely have headers, and we want to show them. So three, comma, and I want to show grand totals one. Now, comma, comma, this is the argument where we have to make a very complex logical test using and, meaning I want this condition and this one and this one. We're also going to have to use or, because when all is there, that implies an or logical test. But for the time being, let's just check this out. Close, Control, Enter. Just by itself, F2 Group By has definitely revolutionized reporting. There's our unique list. There's the summary. And we have a total row. Now to compare and contrast before we create this formula, here's the filter and the filter array argument, that entire thing. Now multiplication is the math symbol that represents an AND logical test. And the plus symbol, that represents an OR logical test. Now that's a lot more to type out and more complex to create than if in the filter argument we simply use by row build an overall comparing the entire data set row by row to the conditions, and then do an OR logical test on just this, checking if there's all. And then in the final argument of by row, add a lambda function and. And this is just a lot easier to create. Now, before we build the final formula with group by and by row, let's build the logical test. We're going to ask of each row in this data set, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, or any of you equal to the conditions. Now, because this array right here has one, two, three columns, and so does this one, one, two, three, that will be compared row by row. And it will give us an array of three columns by however many rows are in the data set. It will deliver trues and falses, because that's what the equal sign does. Control, Enter. And sure enough, we have Midwest equals Midwest. All does not equal Sunshine. And Timmy doesn't equal Sue. Now we need to incorporate the fact that we might get an all, because this column should be all trues, F2. Now we want to use the plus operator to do an OR logical test. But, but wait a second. That plus is an operator just like the equal sign. 
but the order of operations, or in Excel, the order of precedence, this comes way after the plus symbol. So we need to force this to calculate first with parentheses. Then we do plus, that's the OR logical test. And we simply say, hey, this single row with the conditions, are any of you equal to all? And because this is also only three columns, it will be compared row by row. For example, Midwest equals Midwest from the first logical test. But when we get all from the second, now the first row should have true, true, false. When I Control Enter, what? They're numbers? F2. Anytime you do a math operation on a Boolean value, true or false, true equals 1, false equals 0. Control Enter. And now we have exactly what we want. True, true, false. Well, because all three conditions are not met, this record is not included. Or more specifically, that number is not included in the aggregate calculation in Group By. If we scroll down a bit, sure enough, here's a record. Midwest equals Midwest, all equals all, and Timmy equals Timmy. So that number, because we have 111 or true, 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 that number is included in the final aggregate calculation. Now, anytime we want to find all true, that's the definition of an AND logical test. Now to wrap up each row into a single column of trues and falses, guess what? On this array, we get to go by row. There's the array. Come to the end comma. And we put a function, and. And by row will obey. It will take that and function and run it row by row. Close, Control, Enter. And there's a single column, the exact same number of rows as our data set with trues and falses. And sure enough, somewhere down here, there's the first number that will be included, F2. I'm actually going to highlight Control X to cut, Group By. Row fields, there's product, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, values, comma. We want sum, comma, three because we have headers, one because we definitely want total, comma, comma. And there's that lovely argument that Control V by row and Eta Lambda and are going to have fun in. Close, Control Enter. And after adding a little formatting, if I want to see Midwest, not Timmy, but all the sales rep, bam, the report works. If I want to see all, 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 that works too. Hey, I want to see all the regions and Sue. Our report is working like a charm. All right, so that was a little fun with group by and the wonderful filter array argument. And when we have a complex logical test like this, sometimes it's just easier to use by row than to completely build the whole string of logical tests. All right, that was a trifecta of fun. 1909, we saw a unique list with all at the top. 1910, we saw the amazing dynamic range reference operator and the spilled range operator. And in this video, we just flat out had fun with reporting. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.